Hello and welcome Pixels. In this episode I want to introduce the Inset Faces tool. Here's a little overview of the content for this video. Timestamps are in the description below. While modeling, it may happen that you want to create a smaller version of a particular selection. If you press the E key for extrude, hit escape to keep the extrude on origin position and press now the S key for scale, you may realize that the result is pretty ugly. It is way more simple to use the inset faces function, which can be activated with the I key. Or do a right click and select inset faces. There are a couple of further adjustments, which can be found on the bottom left corner. I will show you each single function now. Before we start, I want to mention that the scaling or scaled deformation is influencing the values of the inset faces function. This could lead to wrong behavior and values. Boundary works only if you select open faces which are not closed. You are able to enable or disable this checkbox and decide if the inset should be influenced to borders or not. This may be very important if you work with mirrored meshes. Maybe you noticed that an inset is not affecting the single vertices very much. But if you work with more than one selected faces, then you will get a deformation. Check offset even and get rid of this problem. The distance from the new outline to the original outline should be even and equal to all other edges. The setting thickness control this value. I placed here a little cube and you see the meshes of the edge lengths of this cube. It is equal than the thickness of the offset even function. This works as well for more than one selected faces. To be honest, I have no idea for which reason I should use this checkbox. The original description say, scale the offset by length or surrounding geometry. If I do so and modify the length of this inset, then I will get this result. I have never used this before. Edge rail could be very useful if you want to work with non-flat face structures. If you select those faces here and give them an inset, then you will get a variation of height and depth. It is some kind of interpolation in the set axis, in this case. If I enable the edge rail checkbox now, this will solve your problem and you stay on the correct height. Death could be as well a very cool function. Select your wanted faces, press I for insert faces and keep it with zero thickness. Now go to the depth controller and give it a positive or negative value could be very handy in many cases. Outset keeps the actual shape of your selection and give it the outer edge loop. Be very useful e.g. for hard surface modeling. I will show you an example on this prepared sphere with a subdivision modifier. This checkbox is controlling the result of the Insert Faces function. By using Insert Faces, you basically modify the selected faces and create new faces. By enabling this checkbox, you switch to the just created faces and are probably faster to do your next step in modeling. Every single selected face will get an individual inset could be very useful for creating a crit or some knobs. The description say, interpolate mesh data, e.g. UVs, vertex color, weights, etc. 
For me this means it is definitely important for the UVs. That's all. If you have any further questions write a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!